Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello from a city that truly loves its football, Marseille, the city in question, and our action comes to you from the Orange Vélodrome. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's France versus Germany. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Here's the side France will go with. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. And they kick off here. Lena Latwein. Really getting stuck in. This looks threatening. Wonderful chance. And a goal. That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And when through on goal, she makes no mistake. She just hits it so cleanly and with power. That's a great finish. One nil then. Sven Yahut. Lina Magul. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. A gift for any goalkeeper. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. Getting forward. Alex Pop. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again.
So back underway. They've leveled it at 1 1 here. Griezmann, Sandy Toletti. Well, just trying to drive her team forward here. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Jani. Delivered into the box. France failing to keep the ball. Oberdorf. On to pop. Magul. A very timely interception. Happy to take on the shot and keeping it out. Well, she thought she might have got away with that, but the referee rightly going back and brandishing the yellow card. It's a short one. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Keen to take it short here. And intercepts again. Renard. And possession given away. Well, doesn't have to do it on her own. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Might go ahead. And she scores! It's gone in! And now she can run off and celebrate! Well, as you can see, they finished this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. And beating her marker. Could be. Oh, there it is. A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. And that's how to dispossess your opponent. And is she going to score from here? And that is textbook goalkeeping. Well, she made it look so difficult for the striker. That's a really good stop from the keeper. Great positioning. Now sending it in. Well, she knew what she wanted to do and succeeded. An incisive pass. Might jump in front. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations.
Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And when through on goal, she makes no mistake. She just hits it so cleanly and with power. That's a great finish. And the action underway again. The onus very much on Germany to find a response now. Plenty of support here. Well, disappointing end to the move. And attempting the through ball. Shot attempted. Can they keep it out? Well, a great save. And then hanging on to the ball. Well, you have to say the first save was a brilliant stop. Then she got a bit lucky when it came back to her, but great goalkeeping. Has the strength to hang on to it. And this situation could be dangerous. And that is going to be a free kick. So almost at half-time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, we've had everything in this first half. Great goals, some poor mistakes, and a lot of quality. And they'll certainly be happy with their attack in play, but they must improve their defending in the second 45. Our possibilities inside the box. It did look on for them, but not to be. Good move in the making from Germany. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well read to put an end to that attack. Alexandra Pop. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. And offside, unfortunately. Gras Gayoro. Well, just trying to drive her team forward here. Not to be this time. Well, there it is. The first half is now in the history books here at the Orange Vélodrome. Well, it's advantage France after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Alexandra Pop. A long way out. Well, it wasn't quite as dangerous as I thought it might be. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And a yellow card, it's going to be, Stuart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Bilbo. Now options are plenty. Tonetti. Well, a top notch piece of defensive judgment. Sandy Tonetti. Great. 
great opportunity. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, here it is again. What a good build-up this is. Quick, incisive passing, clever movement, and all done at pace, which led to a simple finish. That's a real joy to watch. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Hood. Latvai. On to Magul. Oh, good vision. Nicely saved. Here it is now, a substitution. Well, opting for the short corner. And the problem not completely solved. Can she score? How simple for the keeper. Sakina Karshawi. Well, no surprise there. France have enjoyed most of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something. And the ruling is offside here. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Now to take it away. And support available. Hood. Lena Latwein. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Sandy Toletti. Breaking at pace. All in all, a broken counter attack. Now, can she put this one away? The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Keeper. No getting away from it. Well, no question about this. As you can see, this will go down as an own goal. They've lost it. Simple for the keeper, dealing with that long-range effort. Well, the pass not finding its target. Magul. Promising-looking ball. Oh, but she's done brilliantly to cut it out. Melvin Malar. There to win it back. Delightful pass. Possible opportunity. Oh, that is a majestic goal. Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done.
Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. Could she have done better? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Not the best challenge. Free kick. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Danger averted for now. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Ten minutes left for play. And out of play for a throw-in to France. Wendy Venard. Well, that'll be a free kick. Well, France couldn't hang on to it. Well, they might be on to something. Blocked it brilliantly. Alex Pop. So disappointing for them. This is slithering away. Well, the clock's ticking faster than they would like. I think that had to go in, Derek. Five minutes left. Really a very poor ball. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. There to take it away. Effort from long distance. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. And a goal kick is the outcome. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. A smart stop here. Trying to pick out a teammate. No foul play, says the referee. Sakina Karshawi. And a strong tackle. Well, there it is, the final whistle, and France have prevailed in this one. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them.